Hey guys, uh, I'm going to demonstrate my project for the uh, network management class at CU. Uh, I've done a cloud system in which I can synchronize a folder across different Linux clients as well as an Android phone. Let's look at the setup. This is going to be my server uh, which is going to um, be having the changes from all of these different clients. Uh, this is my desktop which is uh, on which I'm going to start up two different clients, uh, Linux clients and this is the Android phone which is also a special client. Um, let's look at the uh, system and how it works. Here's a system sequence diagram. Uh, I guess you can't really uh, see much from this angle but essentially what happens is um, all of my clients, the Android and the other clients, connect to my server and whenever there's any file changed in any of the clients, uh, it sends an FTP store command to the server. The server has uh, an inotify based uh, Python script running on it which detects this change in the directory and it sends out uh, uh, regular TCP socket commands which I created for my own like infrastructure to download these new files so the server sends uh, you know get new file command to the Android client and to the other clients as well and then these clients call uh, FTP retrieve uh, functions from the FTP library in Python and retrieve those new files and the same thing happens for deletions so uh, let's have a look at it in action. Uh, so first I'm going to start up my server. Uh, so that's on my laptop and I'm going to start up the server. Uh, so I've got command line options for mode server, the paths at which my directory is going to be, uh, which I'm going to synchronize and a port. So here goes, uh, the server is on. Uh, now next let me start the desktop clients. Now these are two directories. Uh, one of them already has all of the files which are on the FTP, this one. And the other one is blank. Uh, I'm going to do an initial sync on it and let's see how that goes. So on the terminal, the first tab is for the directory which does not have any files so I'm going to start up uh, the same Python script in a client mode uh, and asking it to monitor this path uh, desktop slash test which is right here and let's go so now it's checking for different files and it's finding that it doesn't have them so it's downloading them from the FTP server and now it's done it, it does an initial synchronization to make sure it has everything uh, now I'm going to start the second client this has a path of uh, desktop slash test1 which is this directory which is already up to date so nothing much is gonna happen here so both of these clients are up and running and uh, in sync with my FTP server and this is the directory where the FTP server is hosted so this has all of these files um, let's, uh, let's try changing some stuff here so in my uh, first client, I'm going to put a new file, uh, or let's say I'm going to delete this file, routerdatabase.db, and delete. And you'll see it disappears from here. Um, these are some of the message exchanges, which is not very useful right now, but um, it gets deleted from both of these places as well as the server. So you see no router database dot db. Um, next let's connect my Android client. So there's two ways I can do this. The first way is um, through a secure shell. So I have a, an SSH daemon running on my phone um, using this app, quick SSHD. 
um, this essentially starts an SSH server on port 22 and I can use um, secure shell to connect to this um, not going to do this method uh, because I can actually run the script from the phone itself so let's check that out Uh, I'm going to start up st uh, the SL4A app, scripting layer for Android. This has a folder for network management and pycloud.a.py is my script. So I'm going to start it. I've got the default options uh, so that it connects to this server which is already started. And there we go. So now the script is running and it has uh, synchronized itself with the server. The folder I've selected for synchronization is the DCIM folder. Um, so if you see here, um, SD card slash DCIM slash uh, camera. And uh, so they, basically what this is going to do is any new pictures which I take, is, are going to be uploaded automatically. So I go home, the script is still running in the background. Um, I'm going to fire up the camera. Here it is. And I'm going to take a picture. So let's take this clock in the corner over here. Um, and we have a picture so this picture is immediately gotten uploaded uh, you can see there's a third image file there were only two previously um, if I open this here's the picture I just took with the 2151 clock which is stood right here not 2152 <laughs> um, let me uh, take another picture Oops, I exited the camera. Let me fire it back up. Oops. One handed. <laughs> All right. Um, let's take a picture of this place. and you can see it's probably already uploaded right here there's a fourth image here let me open it up and here it is so all of these are getting synchronized on both of my clients um, and of course on the server as well you see those four images now so I'm gonna close um, both of these images and I'm gonna delete the latest one from this client so delete and you see it disappears from here as well and it disappears from the server as well and now I'm gonna go into my phone and open up a file manager and go into SD card DCIM camera and I have only three images and the fourth one is not there um, so let me go ahead and delete this third image as well from my file manager so delete and let me have my uh, client in the background so as soon as I hit delete over here Uh, oh, it's asking me for a prompt, so I say yes. And the third image disappears from both clients as well as the server. So that's about it. Um, this is my little project, and I've totally enjoyed doing it. Uh, hope you liked it. Uh, comments are welcome. Thank you.